Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to um, demonstrate and discuss the problem of uh, unequal sample sizes and unequal variances uh, when testing mean differences. Uh, a lot of you may have heard of the homogeneity of variance assumption, uh, which uh, basically says that the variances or the standard deviations uh, between groups uh, should be roughly equal. And some of you may also know that the t-test is relatively robust to violations of homogeneity of variance. However, it's also the case that the uh, t-test is not robust to uh, differential variances in the presence of differential sample sizes. So if you've got uh, different uh, homogeneity of variance assumption violation uh, and you have unequal sample sizes, you've got a big problem because you cannot rely upon the uh, t-test correction that's provided in SPSS to give you an accurate p-value. So in this fictitious example, I'll, I'll show you what I mean uh, in, uh, in more detail. Uh, I have a fictitious example where there are movie ratings uh, from males and females. So females are coded zero and there are 40 of these uh, females that have provided ratings and then there are males who have provided movie ratings for a particular movie and um, there's only 20, of 20 males so it goes from 41 to 60 males. There's only 20 males. And let's just say it's a romantic comedy type movie. You just might not expect as many males to have ever seen the movie as females. And so uh, there's not a particular anything wrong with the, the bias in your sample. It's just a fact that there's less males out in the world that have ever seen this particular romantic comedy movie. So when you, you can actually do a t-test on these data, and I'm going to do one now. In fact, I've done one already, so I've got movie rating here and, and grouping variable 0, 1, and I click on 0, and we can see that my sample size, 40 for females, 20 for males, 6.8 movie rating, so the females rated the romantic comedy higher than the males, 4.9, but the standard deviations are much different, so there's a lot of variability in the males in comparison to the females, in fact, about three times more variability. And that's why, uh, correspondingly, we have a Levine's test of equality of variance that's statistically significant. So it's saying that these standard deviations are different from each other statistically. T-test assumes homogeneity of variance. But there is a correction factor that can be applied. It's Welch's correction in SPSS. And we have equal variance is not assumed. T-value of 2.596 degrees of freedom of 21.697, and it's statistically significant, p equal 0 0.017, which isn't as significant uh, in comparison to if we just ignored the fact that there are standard deviation differences. And that's what the correction is about. It corrects for the fact that there's this difference, and the difference is actually particularly bad in this case because the larger standard deviation is associated with the smaller sample size. That's the worst case scenario. Now, what uh, SPSS doesn't correct for is the fact that there are differences in the sample sizes. It, this equal variance is not assumed, does assume that the sample sizes are equal. And as the sample sizes become differentially unequal, the less and less you can trust the, the correction. And based on some simulation research that I've done, just some really basic stuff, I can tell you that based on these types of parameters, with a three times standard deviation, double, a sta double the difference, you know, two times a larger standard uh, sample sizes, you'll get, you're going to get between double and triple the alpha rate that you think you're testing at. So if you're testing at alpha 0.05, really, you're testing at something closer to 0.12 or 0.13. So that's a big difference. You can't trust these p-values when the sample sizes are different and the standard deviations are different. So what can we do about it? Well, one really easy way to deal with this, and there's a trade-off. There's always a trade-off when you're uh, trying to solve one problem. Usually in statistics, uh, you, you end up having to pay a price for it. And what I'm going to suggest in this solution to the problem is that uh, we've is to balance the sample sizes. And you can do that by s randomly selecting 20 females from the sample of 40 females. All right, so if this sample is representative of the population, then we should be able to take a random sample of these 40 
a round ensemble of 20, and that should be relatively re representative as well. And that way we're going to do away with the problem of unequal sample sizes, but we're still going to have the problem of unequal standard